Pete Booty Juggalo. He lied several times about college last night during the debates, and I caught the moments where he did it. Let's take a look. Candidate in American history and beater. Mayor Buddha Judge. We're also being, right now, I think we're being offered a false choice. You either have to go all the way to the extreme or it's business as usual. Yes, we must deliver big ideas. And yes, taxes on wealthy individuals and on corporations are going to have to go up. We can also be smart about the promises we're making. Make sure they're promises that we can keep without the kind of taxation that economists tell us could hurt the economy. It's why, for example, I propose that we make college free for 80% of Americans, but it doesn't have to be free for the top. If you're in that top 10%, how about you pay your own tuition and we save those dollars for something else that we could spend them on that would make a big difference, whether it's infrastructure, childcare, housing, health, on issue after issue, we've got to break out of the Washington mindset that measures the bigness of an idea by how many trillions of dollars it adds to the budget, or the boldness of an idea by how many fellow Americans it can antagonize. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back in two minutes. Want- Mayor Buttigieg, your plan offers free or discounted public college only to families making up to $150,000 a year. Do you think Senator Warren's plan offers free college to too many families? I do think that if you're in that lucky top 10%, I still wish you well, don't get me wrong. I just want you to go ahead and pay your own tuition. Now, we can still have public service loan forgiveness for those who go into lower income fields to deal with that. But if you're in that top 10%, I think you're going to be, for the most part, okay. And there is a very real choice on where every one of these tax dollars goes. So I very much agree with Senator Warren on raising more tax revenue from millionaires and billionaires. Uh, I just don't agree on the part about spending it on millionaires and billionaires when it comes to their college tuition. Thank, Thank you, you so, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor Wait, 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 wait. No, he mentioned I'm gonna me by you, name. I'm going to let no, you respond, Senator Warren. Go, go ahead. Look, the mayor wants billionaires to pay one tuition for their own kids. I want a billionaire to pay enough to cover tuition for all of our kids. Because that's how we build a future. The other part is we've got to deal with student loan debt. And right now, most of the people on this stage are nibbling around the edges of a huge student loan debt burden that disproportionately affects people of color. African Americans are more likely to have to borrow money to go to school, more likely to borrow more money while they're in school, and have a harder time paying it off. We want to make an investment in the future then open up education for all of our kids. That's how Thank we you, build Senator, a future. Senator Sanders, could I- so there you go. Elizabeth Warren, her response was pretty good. You know, he's nibbling around the edges. Matter of fact, he's ignoring the entire problem. I mean, where is his solution to the student debt crisis? What is it, $1.7 trillion now? Hello? You have to deal with that. <laughs> you can't maintain it. It is fiscally irresponsible, morally reprehensible. It's not happening, man. Get rid of it. Elizabeth Warren is either she wants to forgive some student loan debt or most of it. Bernie Sanders is forgiving all of it. He's forgiving all of medical debt, too. But anyway, back to Booty Juggalo. This guy is such a liar. He is so painfully dishonest. He's like, I want you to go ahead and pay your own tuition, acting like he's some morally responsible figure. No, you are a dishonest liar. What he's also saying is that, yo, if you make over $150,000, I think you should pay your own tuition and also not pay for anyone else's because he's not going to bring in about any actual change. Is he? Is he? Of course not. He's hanging out with those people who earn over $150,000. He's not going to make them pay shit. He's not going to make them take any responsibility. All right. And Elizabeth Warren framed it pretty well. She's saying, if you're a billionaire, I don't want you to pay for just your tuition. I want you to pay for other people's tuition with this wealth tax. Okay. With, and I think Bernie Sanders wanted to pay for it with a speculation tax on Wall Street. Right. So at the end of the day, it's going to come from the 1%, right? Which is fair. They got bailed out. Wall Street got bailed out in 2009. Why can't they bail out students now? Right. You got bailed out. You were given that money after you were engaged in illegal and irresponsible conduct. Getting a university degree ain't irresponsible and illegal conduct. It is an investment in the country's infrastructure. All right. Just as you see yourself as crucial to the economy, so is that. 
So is an educated workforce. Both are equally crucial. Matter of fact, that one is more crucial. Now, the point that really annoys me is he keeps parroting this bull, this ridiculous nonsense that if you give billionaires the chance to go to public college, they are suddenly going to take advantage of that. Look, man, if you bring about free college, everyone is paying into it. So everyone has a right to it, first of all, okay? Because everyone is paying into it. It's just like social security. It's just like the public roads. It's just like the fire department or the police service. Okay? Of course, everyone has a right to it because everyone is paying into it. Yes, even billionaires, even the poorest person, your financial status is irrelevant. That is the whole concept. Okay? That's the whole concept. And again, even then, even then, billionaires and the 1% are never going to send their kids to public colleges because they send them to all these fancy private schools and private colleges. That's the reality. Okay, there's nothing wrong with public schools. It's just that that's what they do and what they choose to do. So even if you make the 1% pay a speculation tax and a wealth tax, and then technically they do have the right to send their kids to public college, they're still not going to do it. They're still going to send their kids to private school. So this is a non-issue. He is trying to bring up some bogus argument in concern troll and pretend that he is for the working class and against the big bad rich people while shafting the working class and getting nothing done for them. He's a devil. And it's very important to highlight that Pete Buttigiegalo, he says he wants to make 80% of colleges free. But again, not canceling student debt, not dealing with the student debt crisis. And what about technical colleges? What about historically black colleges and universities? What about that? What about apprenticeships? What about trades? What about trade school? Nothing. For him, this is a sideline issue. He doesn't care. He is running just for power. That's all he cares about. This is not a token representative of the working class. He is not here to help anybody except himself. And matter of fact, Bernie Sanders also had something to elaborate on this. Let's take a look. Respondent. We believe, I believe, in the concept of universality. And one of the crises in America today is people are sick and tired of filling out forms. So you, you're not eligible for the program today because you're at 150 but you lost your job, are you eligible? You got a better job, you're eligible. I think what we have to do is what we do with Social Security, what we do with public education. Donald Trump's kids can go to a public school. They should be able to go to a public school. What we need right now is a revolution in education. We have got to end this dysfunctional childcare system and make sure that every working class person in this country can find high quality, affordable childcare we need to make public colleges and universities tuition free and by taxing billionaires and by taxing Wall Street, we will cancel all student debt in this country. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Sanders. Tim. Now, as Bernie Sanders just said, even Donald Trump's kids should have the right to go to public school, public college, whatever. All right. And this is good that he brought that up because it's a good pushback against this whole argument that all oh, Bernie Sanders hates rich people and he hates the millionaire in the donor class. No, if you make college free, everybody pays into it. Everyone has the right to use it. It's just like high schools, just like public roads, just like every public good and service. All right. That was a good response by Bernie Sanders. And he's accentuating the point of universality. OK, everyone has access to it. Everyone. Everyone. You understand the meaning of that word? I don't think Pete Buttigiegalo does. So I th I'd say there was, those were pretty good pushbacks by Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren on this topic. And Pete Buttigiegalo is so, so painfully dishonest. And I cannot wait till he drops out.